around the state now. And news of a deadly virus spreading through our communities has become a part of our everyday conversations in this pandemic age. But as Local 5's Connie Fellman shows us on this World AIDS Day, that wasn't the case 40 years ago when HIV was first identified in the U.S. When the human immunodeficiency virus first hit the scene in the 80s, a diagnosis was virtually a death sentence, according to HIV physician Dr. Dowd Siraj from UW Health in Madison. The breakthrough is remarkable, uh, turning the tide of a disease that has been once a death sentence to a chronic manageable disease. While the strides made in combating HIV have been extraordinary, World AIDS Day serves as a reminder that the coronavirus is not the only pandemic we face. It's also important to remind ourselves that on average every year around 1.5 million people get infected uh, with HIV as a new uh, diagnosis. Locally, Brown County is one of three counties in Wisconsin that had the most new HIV diagnoses in 2020, according to data from the DHS. That's among the thousands living with HIV statewide. Here in the state of Wisconsin, we have over 7,000 individuals who are infected with HIV. Siraj says it's important to remember those we've lost to HIV, as well as celebrate how far we've come in controlling the disease. But we're not there yet. Of course, the holy grail of HIV that is left for us is finding the cure. This year is the 33rd annual World AIDS Day, recognized every year on December 1st. In Green Bay, I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News. Several events are taking place around the state today in recognition of World AIDS Day, including a red ribbon display on Bascom Hill in Madison.